Oh, I'm back. I got a banana. You know how insane this is before... But I haven't got my headset on, so this feels insane. Because I know you can only hear me because of the microphone, but like... It's so insane. I walk into an empty room, there's no one in here, and I just start talking. To who? I've lost New my mind. New donation from Mr. Trattino Basso Blinky. Thank you. Thank you, Blinky. Was that meant to have a message, Blinky? Thank you. You usually send messages of yours. Did you get scammed or something? Or did you just feel like giving me five dollars? Are you okay today? Uh, I'm just tired. I'm gonna eat a lot of chicken nuggets after this, I think. Play the message, goddammit. Why didn't it play your message, Blinky? Didn't it do a message before? It's still working, right? Because it did a message today, didn't it? I either changed my passwords and that might have fucked with Kofi, but I'm pretty sure we had a message today and it played. Now I gotta go look up your message. Yeah, yeah, we had one just a second ago. So why didn't yours play, Blinky? <laughs> wow. Wow! Blinky's message was, Don't mind me, just screwing with Jeff's VOD editing. Fuck, 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 fuck. Wow, Blinky, wow! Violence. Absolute violence against Jeff after all he does for us. What was what was the poll, by the way? I wasn't here to see the re results. I, I actually don't know what got chosen. What got chosen? What's going on over Sigma and Mech Backscum? He says Boobus hasn't been around much. We stopped playing Backscum. We kind of won it, quote marks. We were done with it. Uh, and we're Sigma either this weekend or next weekend. Again. Mechabellum was in first. Worms don't check it. Slice and Dice was first. I'm trusting you all not to lie. Anyone who lies about this gets banned. Do I have to do the poll again, guys? Do we have to do the poll again? Not a single person saw how the, the poll finished. Pete says, you can't ban me. I can do it right now. It was worms. I'm gonna have to do the fucking poll again because I can't trust any of you. Real and true. Fact checked by real patriots. Mecha Bellum had like a 30 point lead. <laughs> I think it was Mecha Bellum. Mecha Bellum and Worms were close. See, Gentle Food wouldn't lie to me. There's a, there's a few people in the chat I would believe completely. I'm just gonna fucking do it again. Was Mechabellum blowout? Okay. It's Mechabellum. I, I, enough people are saying it was a Mechabellum blowout. Let's do Mechabellum. Uh, Rabbit Food says, Gentle food to, is to me what Carnage is to Venom. I don't know who Carnage is. I've never read a comic book. The only comic books I've ever read are those, like, commandos for action and adventure, World War II ones, where everybody yells, like, Mein Gott, and stuff like that. Yeah, I know Carnage is Red Venom, I just don't really know anything about that, other than that. The only thing I know about Carnage is when they're in that one with Asuka, where they come drifting in with the car and everything explodes. Arakasi says, if Beagle did the poll again, I'd switch my choice to make you all look like liars. <laughs> That's fucked up. Alright, well, I am unpausing. Sorry, not unpausing. I'm starting the download for Mega Bellum right now. It's actually not updated. Um, hopefully it'll kick in in a second and we'll play. Nick Spinnaker says, Carnage is turbo edgy 90s insane. Blood, blood, rip and tear. Oh, I hate that. Like, like Baal. We hate that. Slice nice all we make for mech. Well, I assume this should only take like a minute. Go on, Mechabellum. Get going. It, it, the problem is it hasn't even started the download yet. I might have to restart my Steam, maybe. Robert Free says Baal, like fucking Baldur's Gate 2 throwing a Baal expansion. Like Baldur's Gate 3. Ball. 
Like Baal. 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 They call him Baal. You're a New Vegas fan? Well, good for you! No one asked you! <laughs> For Sigma Balls. Oh, you don't know these that were made up RPGs? Oh! Uh, Mega Bell updated. Yeah, I know it was Bale, because yeah, it's looking for Bale. That's right, Nyx. Yo, Duriel beat the shit out of me when I was a kid. I had no idea how to optimize builds yet. I was just a child. And that fucking frost bug beat the shit out of me. Wasn't even close. Okay, Mechabellum turn on. Terrifying. I was like, I, I, I still have a memory imprinted in me from when I was like, when was that game? Like, 8, 9, 11, 12? I still have a memory imprinted in me of that game, of like going into the Duriel fight for the first time and just that big bug coming over and just like, just really fast hitting me. And like, then trying to run away and being like frozen and being like, no! It's been absolutely eviscerated. <laughs> Boofa says Duriel was my ascension to adulthood. Yeah, it was so scary. Yeah, the slower, it was the worst. Alright. Let's see a game. Let's do a game. Wait, hang on, unit modification. The, the new unit. They added a big war factory unit. I I hate this. I absolutely hate that they changed it into being you get tech points for leveling up in the game. And then once you max out on tech points, you stop getting given tech points. That Okay, that point's fine. They wanted to make like new player process not be so overwhelming. Sure. But then when they bring out new units, they don't give max level players or, you know, they don't give you more tech points again. Like, what the fuck? Why? So now I have to go up one, two, three, four, five levels. It's just stupid. It's stupid. Look, the upkeep cost of War Factory is reduced by 100. Okay, I want to take that. This thing makes units, yeah. Don't care about the range. We want it to cost less upkeep. We want to try to build these things. I'm sure everyone's trying to build these things, because, obviously. Well, Starbright's tournament tomorrow is a 2v2, so we should do 2v2s. But yeah, there will be a Starbright Community Mecha Bellum tournament tomorrow, and it's a 2v2 format, so make sure you come and check it out. They've been really good tournaments last time. Is Incredon still here? Incredon, are, yeah, you are. Are you going to be in the tournament tomorrow, Incredon? Have you got a teammate? You, you all should have picked your teammates by now, yeah? What, what a cute combo. They're both anime. I have a fucking mountain, so fuck me, I guess. My teammate is Staniel. Alright. What we got? Spy Specialist. Nick says, I haven't played it a lot, but War Factory seems not great. So expensive, easier income, and it's not the game changer it feels like it's meant to be. Yeah, I mean, it's a fucking... It's, it's a, it, it looks like a, a, a meme gimmick to me. It seems like one of those units... There's a lot of combos in this game already like that, where it's like, it's a get-ahead thing, like you're already... Or it's like it's like a win-more thing, like if you can put one of those out, you're probably winning already, but we'll see. I think it'll be fun. All I need it to be is fun. As long as the War Factory is fun, that's all I need from it. So we'll see if we can get that. Oh, this is compact, cute. I don't need to do flank protection on that side. I've n I don't think I've played combat before. This is interesting. Well, with that in mind, we should do a... Hmm. We should set up for a flank. Set up for a big L. But they can't defend my side, so no. Just do normal. Just do it kind of normal.
But you don't need to put an arc light there. I mean, I guess I can still help with what's in front. Alright, fine, fuck it. Anyway, just buy some fangs. The, the real changes, didn't Marksman get an insanely busted new uh, perk? Didn't they get something that, like, on paper looks like it just makes them incredible? At, um, crowd clear? It's like Assault Marksman at, like, five times their health and gives them, like, a nine meter wide splash damage? Or something insane? Yeah, like, they trade range. They can become a rocket launcher. That seems really good for flexibility. We got, we got phoenixes? They got phoenixes. I'm getting crawler AoE'd, but then we kill the Mustangs. No sweat. My teammate's winning. The mountain is victorious. They went level. They went turn one overlord. Make arcs instead. Feels like a way to keep marks relevant if your opponent goes all chaff spam. Yeah, that seems good. Speaking of arc lights. ER sledges though. ER sledges, but level up arcs seems good as fuck. Let's level up our arcs. Especially because the enemy has plenty of crowd units. That sounds great. This one must have just died because it has like no kills. Okay, so it costs 200 to unlock. It costs 800 to build. And it's 200 upkeep per round, but if you buy the $50 upkeep, then it's down to 100 upkeep per round. So you're not getting it yet. But I want to get with this thing. It looks fun. I guess get more arc lights. Or probably probably go on the flank. Especially before they start flanking very hard. And like set up the L. The L is good to have. I mean, what would I solidify my line with? I already won. Don't, don't forget these missile deception things are in the game too. I almost did. I haven't really played since these got added, so... Phoenixes also, just get phoenixes, is what I really should do, I guess. I need to just play normally and not be a weird gimmick person. That'll do. Gets, now, now I've got like a balanced army, I've got a bit of everything. Got some single target. Just eating a banana, so let me just eat the banana while uh, the sides clash. What the fuck happened to all my right side? Oh, my phoenixes are over here, I see. I see what's happening to my right side is they're getting busy with the enemy. On the, uh, my opponent's enemy. Kind of awkward positioning. My enemy, my my friend's coming back now to help. Mm, I lost on the left too. My army actually lost. So why are there still even towers there? Because that's my phoenix. That's my phoenix there. But otherwise, I got beat up. I don't even really see from what. Oh, is it just Stangs? Oh, sorry. Their marksmen are doing good. Their Mustangs aren't doing that good. Their marksmen are doing really good. Sledges are fighting each other. The marksmen kill the sledges. My phoenixes kill their sledges, but on the right they don't. The fangs are just dying. I don't know. I don't know what's like fucking me really hard. But let's upgrade some more arcs and just kind of try to be cheap and then get a war factory next turn. I think. So maybe some fangs and just try to be cheap. Or even some crawlers. Their army isn't very good at dealing with crawlers. 
not bad at it, but it's not good at it. That's assuming the sledges die, though. That's the problem. Like, the sledges actually have to be dead. So probably put both your crawlers on this side. Maybe even do one sacrificial shotgun of crawlers. And then one set of flank crawlers. And then we'll save the rest of the money. We'll get a war factory next turn. Let's pay more attention here. What is happening to me? This side obviously loses because, like, they go off to fight the other war. This, the crawler shotgun spread there is good for, like, buying some time. Win the sledge war, win the marksman war. I think it might just be that, like, my right side falls because they go off in the wrong direction because of compact, and then I just lose. That might just be it, I think. I think half my units are going to help my ally. And that might be the problem. Looks more severe this turn, too. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the center's breaking. Center's not strong enough. It doesn't help that my ally has, like, nothing for a front line. So I think I see what's happening now, yeah. Could go for a while. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just don't even think too hard about it. Just do it. Alright. I said I'm getting this thing. I'm getting it. I'm getting the maintenance. I'm put that right there. And then we have to make money to actually... Oh, and the cost of getting the text goes up so much when you get this one. But it doesn't make any units yet, is the thing. It doesn't even do that yet. You gotta, like, tech that. I think the way is to sell units on the board before the text. That's a smart idea. Sell a unit of sledges to get the sledge tech. Nice, got through to the tower already apparently, don't know how. It's such a subcom unit, it's so subcom. Look at it. Oh, is Colin's for the tower? I see. Now this thing normally sucks 200 costs out of your army every turn, but with the upgrade it's only 100. Yeah, it's just the UECT4, that's right. It's just the mobile factory. Oh, it does 800 damage too, of course it does. Okay. One sledge every 4 seconds. One Phoenix every 10 seconds. One Steel Ball every 5 seconds. Against them? Probably Sledge. I think we're also gonna get- I think Incredon was right. Let's get range for the Arc Lights. For hackers. You'd think Blinky would be pretty immune to hackers unless it's the last unit because it makes new things. You'd think it'd be alright. Bandy says, does the factory provide the same levels as the factory level 1? That's the good thing about the factory. It's based on the level of the factory. So if your factory is level 3, all the units are level 3. That is pretty cool. Melting point! Two melting points. Make, make sledge, make sledgehammer. So 
and leveling the War Factory is definitely good for that reason. But it must cost so much to level. Arc lights are leveling. I think the range definitely helped them like Ingridon suggested. Ooh. Pew! Pew! It's kind of crazy how even a laser takes a long time. How much fucking health does it have? That took a minute. Interesting it didn't go on the sledges it made, though. Prioritize the war factory. That is interesting. I think we just won. Laser's debuffed. Ah. Yeah, I think it's only 160k, right? GG. Oh, were well, those tanks made afterwards? I didn't realize. That makes sense then, yeah. I thought, man, that War Factory makes tanks quick then. If those were all made after the laser locked on, that's a lot of tanks. See, the real thing with the War Factory is it costs a lot to invest in its techs for one War Factory. But what if we could get two War Factories, chat? Huh? Now we're talking. Think about it. <laughs> Truck mump. <laughs> Incredon says you can also install four of the sea with threats on it. Hey, step right, let's go. What do you mean, Incredon? Is that a tech or? I know it's got the tech, but doesn't it get bad like the Mustang one? It's not like the good ones that never run out. If it didn't run out like the Mustang one runs out, I would take that. Because that, that really makes the Mustang one shitty. It just runs out after like three volleys. That's 501. It's our region. It's the like main English speaking region. Yeah, I just don't really see the point of the missile interception tech these days when the turrets exist and are so, so, so fucking much better. Seems a really hard sell to me. Enemy has quick supply specialist. Who was doing it up? You, Incredon, you're doing it up. You didn't know that? This is not compact, this is standard 2v2. And the neat woman I am playing with is probably much more in practice than me, but don't worry, Starbright, I'm not gonna let you down. I will not make us lose as I try to force war factories every round today. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's gonna be just fine. All will be crab. <sighs> Banny says War Factory might be even better in non-combat, because if you win your side, you will surely win the other side of a huge army mix as it walks to the other side. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that War Factory would be the best in 2v2, because it's the same as all the unit creation techs. It's going to be better in a longer match. Linky says, I'd love if there was just a 25 cost unit that was a group of technicals driven by terrified humans. <laughs> hmm. I'm waiting. I can't wait for Menace to come out. You, you said technicals. I'm like, oh, Menace. Hey, did I put them too close for missiles? Uh oh. Oh, no! Stop, stop. Yeah, good, good, good. Oh, on the edge! I think I'm. 
crawler is too strong here. Yeah, we just couldn't even kill the crawlers. Just smashed. Peter says there's technicals in Rimworld. Now, yeah, I saw that technical model. Looks really, actually quite good. Gove says, hold on, I'm testing just now. I think missile perception works identically no matter the unit now. What do you mean? It's effective again as long as they stop firing a bit. Really? If that's true, that's a big change. If you can confirm that for me or not, I'd love to hear it. Okay, the big thing they had was phoenixes taking out my single target while I had nothing for theirs. I could get some phoenixes of my own. I just need like a chaff unit in front. Well, not even chaff. I need a unit that ties up the arc lights and doesn't die to them. But also can deal with the crawlers. Now everyone in chat has already figured out what I need. I figured it out like one second slower. It's what everyone always needs, folks. We always need sledges. I just need a missile tower. Beep, beep, beep. Tower cost to replace. I know. Is someone trying to hack me again? What is this? Yeah. Another two tries in the last hour. I don't know what's going on. Someone wants to get my accounts. Why? There's nothing in them. Blinky says, I wonder what the world would be like if I didn't suck ass at this game. I want to live in that world. I have nothing to say back to that, I'm sorry. Like, I should be supportive, but I, I can't think of a... a truthful way to do it. At least there's other things you're good at, right, Blinky? Okay, Sledgers are trying to kill the crawlers. Ah, shit. Just gonna kill the crawlers. Crawler supremacy. I need more arcs. Or, or crawlers of my own. Crawlers of my own might be the better choice. Just meet crawl with crawl. One, two, three, four, five. They do have two more arcs than me, so it doesn't work out perfectly, but I have sledges. Let's crawl on crawl. Okay, so we want to meet, especially in the middle, especially in the middle. So I think just put a lot of them in the center. A lot of the problem is coming from those center crawlers, I think. Everything by the numbers. Big issues. Radic says, ID theft is crazy at the moment. I'm getting paper mail that looks legit at first, making it seem as though I've already been ID theft victimized, but the provided numbers are fake. I feel sorry for the many people who just don't know how to check. Yeah. Ghost says, either they work the same as before, or the Mustang's cooldown is really, really slow. Yeah, the Mustang just always sucked at it, I think. War Factory next turn, it's alright. We're about to turn of the round, Sturbo. It's not. War Factory is not going to turn us around, but I'm still going to buy it, because that's what I'm like here to try. I think the War Factory- they love missiles, I gotta put another tower down. I thought they might after they killed my tower, but I wasn't sure. Um, I think the tower unit I'm going to want to get is probably... Uh, factory unit I'm going to want to get first is balls, I think. Steel ball production. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, War Factory is hard to use, Starbright. Well, I'm in trouble. This is a team game? Yeah, this is a 2v2. Is it a new edition? No, no, it's always been in. I'm just getting slaughtered this game, I think. 
I think I'm too behind the curve. Doesn't help when your sledges get taken out, obviously, but I think I'm just gonna get slaughtered this round. If it makes anyone feel better, so is Starbright, so... At least I'm not letting her down, technically. I'm just not boosting her up. Whoop. Well, let's do what we came here to do, so we can say we did it. I want... And Kof thinks I win. Thanks, Kof! I know, buddy, I know. The real way to beat this army would be just go air. It's all fucking ground-based. But I wanted to build a war factory, so look at me go. It's, I mean, it's not too late. I could buy two phoenixes, right? Can you make the warfare to make units? Yes, I can. I guess just make it make phoenixes. This will, this dead will actually be worth it. Nuclear, eh? Interesting. But this has just been uh, getting fucked by crawlers around, really. Been getting crawler fucked all day. Been all on you, baby. Let's go, Starbright. We're putting it all in on War Factory with unlimited phoenixes. So extended range, but less damage. Yeah, that shield is gonna be problematic, but maybe if the bull's stuff in the exact right place. Phoenixes are taking off. The tank's just stopping in the exact right spot. Here comes the nuke. Hey, I mean, that's a pretty good nuke. That's not bad. My missile wasn't that good. But Starbright sent over some Mustangs as well to help. Oh, no, doesn't mind, doesn't mind, never mind. I thought I would be playing in combat again. The Air Force, the T3 uh, UEF interceptors are launching. The Air Force is up. The War Factory is never going to level, but we are making Phoenixes. I just don't know if it'll be enough. What's their army? I mean, maybe. I think with the War Factory also as a unit, it might be okay, unless I get my tower too early. The War Factory is also a big, strong giant. I think we've got it. Unfortunately, the tower goes down. And the Phoenixes are getting shrekted. But I don't think they've got enough to take this war factory out. We'll see. Maybe. We're not killing the Mustangs quick enough. But I think we're gonna hit the tipping point here where we'll be fine. I don't know how hard Storm Cool is hit. I think it was actually the Stangs doing most of the damage there. Okay. Just skip. Maybe. Just skip. Did you say that was a victory for Phoenix production there? No, I'd say that was just a victory for, like, the War Factory being a giant unit and having nuked most of my army. Now, do I make a second one? Do I make a second one? You wouldn't call it a phoenix point? I wouldn't. <laughs> Let's get two! You can just die a second one, though. Well, it's only minus 200 a turn, and I got top supply. No, I didn't. That was the last round. Okay. But I have supply specialists! It's only minus 150 per round. It's fine. Let's double down. This will be fun. If I can fit it somewhere. There we go. Let's 
Samurai is sending over more reinforcements. They get the melting point. No one could have foreseen this. Not me. Alright. That's a decent amount of phoenixes if we can just live long enough to build them up without the laser taking us out. Oh, EMP missiles on the melting point. That's not good for us. It's going to turn off our production. Oh, we lose one. The MP is down. And now Starbright's forces in exile join us here to defend the tower. Unfortunately, the damn phoenixes go forward and all die. I wish they would stop. It seems like the Phoenix's 140 range is the same as the War Factory's 100. But the War Factory is so big, like it's... I don't know. Oh god, the Mustangs are just doing so much damage to it, I don't think we're gonna win. We've got no AoE. Oh dear. Maybe? Did we get all the AA? No, there's still a Marksman. That's a lot of Stormcallers, what the fuck? What is going on over there? Yeah, we need Phoenix range, I think. Ooh. Can't resist. Oh, I can't get Phoenix range. I don't have Phoenixes. Hang on. I need to buy a Phoenix so I can upgrade them. That's not going to work. This is just the anti-interference module in round 2. Yeah, but apparently we can't... Um, apparently we can't put items on them. Is more the pity. To Phoenix Resurrection would be the win, I think. Phoenix Resurrection. There's a concept. I haven't got the money for it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Nice start right now. Never do we. That's right. If you keep deading the, the bank can't catch you, that's true. Okay, we got some creepy crawlies. I have crawls of my own, it shouldn't be too bad. Hate the EMP missiles, hate that. Melting point eaten good with the war factory added. Ah, uh, Starbright! All the Starbright units are here to fight with us! Yeah, anti-missile turret inside my right tower for the interference missiles and the storm coolers. That's a really good point. I should get anti-interference turrets for the storms. If I was smart, I would have done that. I'm not smart. Unfortunately. Oh, I'm very not smart. I don't think we're gonna make it! Yo, that's a tough Rhino! Woo! GG. <laughs> I don't understand. How did two War Factories fail? hard. I think it's like the thing I don't like about hackers is that it feels like you want all the techs on them for the, them to do what they're meant to do. Unless you're doing the very cool um, hacker shield spam. 
But then every tech being more expensive than the last makes it really hard to get all their techs plus the income sink. They do, beyond trying to force them for the fun of it, they do seem pretty fucking hard to make good use of. Like... I think they're the kind of unit that, if we're being responsible, we really only play later on when you just have tons of money. Like, it maybe suits the kind of player who hasn't built giants all game and suddenly wants to switch into giants, but also has like a really big, you know, sledges, phoenixes, whatever kind of army already that already has the text on those units. Because I think, I think otherwise, yeah, like trying to get it like any earlier than like round eight seems like a, a hard sell because you just can't get the text as well. It's just a hacker thing. It's the hacker thing of like, you need all the text on it as well. Hell of a shield for everything. So yeah, it's still a giant. Like it's still a giant. But it's definitely not a unit we want to force if we don't have the money for it. All right, here we go. No, never mind, Starbright. You got scammed. Hacker doesn't need all the tech as a shield bot. That's right, Bounty. I was shown that, yes. Hacker doesn't need all the tech that you need to be shield bots, indeed. Is that still the meta, or did they find a way to beat or nerf that yet? Hacker fang shields. They nerfed the shield by how much? Mmm! Ah, shit! The person we beat in the first round versus Goaf and Starbright. Oh, no. It's 20% nerfed? That is, That seems like a good nerf. I'll have you all know this is my last round before I go and uh, feast as well. But I will be back for Starbright's Mechabell and Tourney tomorrow. I assume Goaf's gonna be in it again, too. Okay. Good luck, Starbright. Thank you for your well wishes. It's compact. I'm against Goaf of the Quick Supply Specialist. Obtained 200 supplies in the first round. Now, Goaf is the tournament winner, so really, Goaf should just wipe, wipe the floor for me. I'm going to do the thing everybody does in this situation, which is say I, I can't lose because if I win, I beat Goaf, and if Goaf beats me, everyone expected it, so. <laughs> Isn't that the biggest cop out? Everyone does that. Uh, it's fine, I wasn't even trying, I knew you'd beat me. No, we're gonna beat Ghost, never mind. You gotta watch out for your units getting pulled apart, though. I need to play a little bit more to this direction, I think, this time. Because I want to be really careful about my units getting pulled apart, like what happened last time. It was really not good. Let's go like this. Do the one side strategy thing. Yeah, Goaf might do it too. Yeah, you weren't even playing your main character. That's right! I wasn't even playing my main guy. I think this is where I want my units. Maybe a little bit further back for potential missiling. But this should be alright. So we've got from Ghosts one unit of columns, storms on the left, two stangs, and then three units of crawlers. No, four units of crawlers, two of them are shotgun spread to tie me up. Always good to have arcs here. Got some of uh, my teammates' crawlers coming in from the side. Fangs are gonna beat the. We're gonna win on the right side. It's just that the storm's gonna tip it on the left. 
I think I'll lose to the storms, but my right flank will come in and win. Yeah. I don't know if I'll win completely until I get the tower. Oh shit! So my teammate lost over there. Yeah, we're good. We hold, but then it's a 2v2. Oh oh. So now my sledges are gonna die. And I don't know if these units can actually win against the storms even about this. So I think I'm fucked now. Go that one little thing. Yeah, that's that's that. Well, it weren't bad, but uh, the storms were definitely the issue. Some missile interception would be nice. The problem of investing in missile interception in 2v2 is that even if I get it, it won't respawn if my 2v2 partner loses again and I, I lose it, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like a commitment to winning. Which is a scary thing, folks. I can't commit to winning. Portable shield. Sounds fun. That's probably gonna get refunded. But until it is refunded, I should just make sure it's not a problem. Unless you buy a shield, this missile will get use one way or another. I was gonna do some crawlers with a uh, shield item on them instead, but that seems like a worse idea. Uh, what do I want to build meanwhile? I, we'll put that there. Phoenixes is what I need. Well, not really. The, the defensive choice is to buy more arc lights. But I should get aggressive. This flank is very open. This is kind of a signature all in on one side, so I should push on another side, you know? I should go fangs and arc over here. Classic. Keep saving money, I think, because these are pretty close rounds. I don't need to, like, buy everything right now. I don't even know if that'll work against the one unit of right now, but that's fine. I think just, like, leave it, like, there. Maybe put another missile here. Like, maybe they get another unit of storms here, but I think that's it. I'm not going to spend any more money right now. Okay, so there's no shield, there's no nothing. We fire the missile off. Blow those up. Uh, they bring in Mustangs over here. So it's a, re it's a shoring up with Stangs on that flank. Bit of a wasted missile, but that's fine. It was kind of just meant for the storms anyway, so anything's a bonus. My Fang's in a weedle bit of trouble -y. I have what it takes to kill all these units, though, so I should win over here. Meanwhile, it looks like my teammate's doing better. I think they're gonna win. So we're looking better now. Yeah. Eking out a win for my teammate. We win. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now, my units on the side should do better now that they're here. I think they'll still lose to the crawlers, but that's okay. Decreases arc light HP, but decreases range. Mustang HP, but decreases range. Shields could be nice. See you, Erratic. Gets a crawler heavy army. Incendiary is just really valuable. Let's get some upgrades. I would like to get those phoenixes, because we're hitting the point where like you need to have some single target. I think the sanest place to put my incendiary is along here, so that they can't shield it. Like that, you know what I mean? And you never know when your enemy is just gonna like let you do this again, so just do it again. Now, what are we actually doing with our army? The sledges are performing really well on that side, but not everywhere. Uh, armor on arc lights is oh, they buffed it. Uh, they nerfed it by fifty cost. It's pretty cheap still as an investment and could pay off well here. Especially if I don't give up on this side or anything, I bring some crawlers in, or just more fangs. But they'll lose to the crawlers. Maybe bring some crawlers over there of my own. I think. Or pressure this side harder. I think bring some crawlers. 
timer. Yeah, thanks. They're gonna miss with their own, so do I. Still. The incendiary should fuck everything. Oh, to the very end of my team, uh, teammate. Unfortunate. We had to accomplish a lot here. Those are level 2 balls of a shield, straight up. You're gonna need the phoenixes now. We, we didn't get the phoenixes, and that's what we really need against them. I think my army's doing okay, though. Unfortunately, my army's doing so good, we're working in our own fire now because of our teammate, so we have to go fight. But hopefully my teammate does well enough here they can deal with the balls. Even if I can just kill some of the chaff mustangs and crawlers, I'm confident my teammate has enough mo oh, shit, never mind. I think we're fucked. The long-term consequences of our incendiary is really biting us here. Yeah, I don't think... On level 2 balls, I don't know if there's enough marksmen here to do it. Maybe. Maybe. Just level 2 balls are just so strong, I, I don't think so. Especially not with the tower... The tower killing. Ooh, wow, that's really good though! Oh wow, that's amazing! That might have just lost the balls the game, I think. Maybe? No, 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 no. Still gonna win. They still have their shield. They're just so strong. Put the shield in those fangs or easy stuff doesn't work out. Yeah, I didn't do that because I was gonna give them an actual shield tech. It's a good game so far. Anyone really weak to air? Uh, you guys kinda. Haste module. Need phoenies, don't forget. Need phoenixes. This increases your attack, so we'll get that put on some phoenixes. Because we need some phoenixes. I probably should have level 2'd them. Should I put them here? Seems like a bad commit. Yeah, I should have, Bounty. I should have just bought level 2 phoenixes. I need to put the shield on someone too. I think we're gonna buy a third unit of phoenixes. I'm saving a like I'm floating a lot of money here, you know. I am floating a lot of money. I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. Level three balls. I gotta shut them down. Let's really charge on arc lights. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Charge on Arclights would do well, you're right. As long as they do okay against the balls. Fortunately, these phoenixes are going to be way ahead of the chap because of the speed. Not good for them. Damn, my teammate's losing again, unfortunately. Which again is not going to be good for us. Especially because my main force that's winning is in the middle. I really got to shrew up this right way harder. Because I get sandwiched by the pair of them. Could get Vulcans. I mean, Vulcan against balls is not the best thing in the world, but... Could get my own balls to go against their balls. I don't know. This will give us a bit bit of a moment. It's not good that this flank is falling apart, but people are right. Charge shot could actually help a bit. Here, let me just um, bombard all this shit. What's really good against these balls that isn't my own balls? Phoenixes, I guess, in general, but you kind of need a laser. 
But maybe bulls of my own, and then my bulls of my own can go in front of the phoenixes. Nothing they have but the bulls are really good against bulls. I could even get crawler bulls. Or just EMP on one of my units, like on the sledges, to take away their life vamp. The answer is War Factory build 2. War Factory with Bulls. I've got the money. I could do a War Factory with Bulls right now. I don't think it'd be the I don't think it's the, the strat yet though. I think get a whole bunch of really high level balls. Elite recruitment. Spend all that money finally. Uh, get the Mechanical Division on them, I think. And let's shield one of them. Yeah, harder in the balls for Goat. My left side's not going to be looking so good after this. Their balls are better, but my only hope here is the Mechanical Division keeps them busy a bit, but I think the Mustangs are going to be too effective at cleaning the Mechanical Division crawlers up. It's a nasty slog here. And my, my balls aren't doing nothing of theirs. Because they got the life vamp. So they just straight up lose that fight. I gotta get that EMP, the, the missing, missing piece of the puzzle here. I think I just feel really behind on balls. That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, doing a star bright. I think Vulcan is not bad here if you can keep the balls away from it. Like, it's gonna kill everything else. I wonder if, like, a properly charged Vulcan screen by Crawlers would have been the real counter. Or Overlords. Maybe Overlords are the way, too. Maybe Chin Overlords. But that's basically Phoenixes. I just need more Phoenixes then. I think I need more AoE on the right side to get through the chaff quicker. EMP counter, yeah, EMP counter, you're right. I think start recycling because I think this flank is really suck. More AoE over here. My army is like really horribly clustered here. It looks terrible. horribly clustered. It is what it is! I can buy more units with 150 uh, because we had hit the limit of units you're allowed to buy for a turn. That is why. The EMP there is fine, but I think it comes in too late. Like, they also just have more and better balls. I think I'm just, like, trying to chase a solution I just don't... I'm too far behind on. I think... I think the turn I went into balls versus balls was a big mistake. And now I'm just trying to salvage the fact that I tried to play a game that they were already better at than me. I think that was a turn I needed to go for like Overlords or something different. Or Vulcans. Now I'm like really far behind on having done that. 
Oh, GG. How do I... GG. Yeah, dead, dead. I, I, yeah, and suddenly we lose her that 3,000 health. I think that was definitely the turn where I lost, where um, I seen the ball becoming a threat, and I was like, I'll try to get my own balls to stop them, and it just wasn't. With the life vamp, when they met, just wasn't. And then I'm trying to, like, fix that counter the whole time, but you're too far behind. Don't go chasing water balls. GG, well, that's your extra little hour of play. I'm going to go feast on food. So you'll see more Mecha Bellum tomorrow, but you won't see me playing it. You'll see uh, at Starbright's TV2 tournament. So come along tomorrow to see Starbright play. I mean, Starbright... Do it. <laughs> Great tagline for his stream. I'm really tired. Come along to see Starbright do it. Go. are you playing tomorrow? Please watch that Germa vid. I don't have time to watch a 15 minute Germa vid, Lloyd boy. Are you telling me all 15 minutes are gold? The whole thing? I won't be bored for even a second. Yes. Well, you just entered sudden elimination because the minute I'm bored, I'm ending the stream. How, when is he going to start scorn? Scorning? One Swedish maid, penis in larger pump. Does it do it? Wait. When I... Am I even allowed to watch this? On Twitch, it's part of a game. It's like, are you allowed to watch videos of Baldur's Gate 3 with tits out because it's part of the vanilla game? How do the layers work? Yeah, you're allowed to? Okay. Click new game, is it gonna go? Scorn. Yeah, scorn. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> so I asked this in, in pre stream is this a Gugata game? Does it actually, do we, are we gonna get some of that? Or no? This is a, okay. No, it's not. Well, I'm not even gonna explain that because it's the people that it's the people that know. You know what I mean? So I I can't touch this. I need to have. Whoa, <laughs> that sounded fake. What? Whoa, that was real. It just sounded a little deflated. He's never going to complete this game. That's what everybody says about every puzzle game that I've ever played. Okay, I'm going to beat this. I will complete it. I'm, it's just. A, Everybody says that every time I play a puzzle game. <laughs> I, dude, he he's never gonna beat this ever. And then I beat it. Like it takes me an extra four to six hours than a normal human, but I still do. I am not going to be one of the people that said they quit this game in ten minutes because they thought it was gonna be like a like. I'm not one of those people. I'm not quitting the game in ten minutes. Wait, wait a minute. Before I keep watching this, I want to pre-watch it and see where that bit happens. And I'm not going to show it to you on stream just in case you're going to be safe. Where does that bit happen? I'm trying to find the time code near the end. Near the end. I don't see it. Give me a... Oh, wait. Is that it? Oh my god. What <laughs> that scream? No, that that's that's an arm. Oof. Are you kidding? I need a time code of when Germa gets scorn scared. Go. So I can turn We're it off. Doing you know what I need? And I, I, I need to go eat chicken nuggets. Fucking I'm not watching this of all you've ever decided. It's too much of a risk, but I am gonna go. I'm gonna watch this on my own later. So you get that much, low boy. At least I'll watch the video because I love Germa. I'm not watching it with you. Because I, I don't know if it's against Toss to see Germa's character get his dick scorned. I don't know if that's allowed. Anyway, yeah, Beagle did not beat the video, it's true. Alright. Thanks to my subs and dubs. Thank you to Ghost Wizard for the, uh, party of 15 no the sub of 15 months oh my brain is leaking out of my ears spaghetti time 85 59 month sub exodus infinite 80 month sub dog dog 100 pennies holiday three month sub papa Minix, 67 month sub new Terra 67 month sub cliche 420 with a tier 2 sub for 78 months in a row thank you very much mjb love mjb love mjb love thank you cliche for the tier 2 sub for 78 months in a row yamsis subscribe for 78 months in a row maxi subscribe for 30 months thank you also very much Checking my coffee for today, folks. Thank you to Blinky for the $5 donation of trying to ruin Jeff's VODs. Thank you to Albany for the $5 donation as well. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, and those are the ones for today. No, and, and Hopeless Dreamer as well. Hopeless Dreamer sent in the $50 right at the start. That's right. I'm so tired, I'm forgetting like the events of the day. Hopeless Dreamer sent in the $50 and passed on their good month, goodwill. Thank you very much for that, Hopeless Dreamer. I appreciate it a ton. All right, I'm gonna raid you some. We're gonna play the credits. Folks, I will see you tomorrow for Starbright's 2v2 Megabellum tournament, and then the day after that, either more Long War or Risk Sigma uh, is on the docket. So I hope you'll have a lovely time. Go eat some food, take your vitamins, uh, drink some water. I don't know why I'm gonna raid you yet. It It's recommending me people I don't watch and never would. Anyone got a good channel to raid? Anyone, anyone uh, got someone good they want to be raided right now by all of us? Serious answers only. I got no one. Eggs is doing art? Why is Eggs not on my follow list? Huh? Eggs isn't on my follow list. Oh, I got logged out. I got logged out because of the password change, right. Okay, we're gonna go see eggs. Squeedly Spooch says, have you ever heard of Amaranth? Uh, I have tangentially and good for her for I leaving her shitbag husband by the sound of it. I hope when I let shit go on last year. That's all I really know. Eggs is doing out, just check it out, it's spicy. Well, go and say hi to Eggs, exclamation mark PP, you know how it is. I'll see you all tomorrow for the Mechabellum tournament. Bye bye everyone, have a wonderful one, see you later, bye bye.